in pre-production. Chris Nolan kept challenging everybody to come up with ideas of how we could beef up these action sequences and try to do something that nobody had ever done before. And this idea came up to flip this 18-wheeler over without use of CGI. And the guys, Paul Jenning and Tom Struthers and Chris Corbold, all sort of together figured out how this could be executed and then found this incredible driver, Jim Wilkie, who was capable of doing it. This truck flip devised by Chris Corbold and his guys came about very much as a result of me just pushing them and pushing them to do this flip with an 18-wheeler articulated truck. Uh, Chris kept wanting to do it with a, with a smaller vehicle because uh, it would have been simpler. But in the end, I just said to him, you know, this is what you do. You'll figure out a great way to do this. And, and he did. I had real strong reservations that we would achieve that. And I kept niggling at Chris about how we could compromise it and make it slightly different but more achievable. And in the end, I said, look, I'm going to do a test and I'm going to try this once. And if it looks like we're anywhere near getting this over, then I'll go for it. Got my two guys on it and they built the biggest piston ever I've ever seen in my life in the back of this truck. And then some other guys have reinforced the, the driver's cab. Oh, I've never seen so much steel in a, in a cabin all my life protecting this guy. And the day came where we, uh, we were going to test it. So we actually tested it on the site of the, where we blew the hospital up. It was just us and the stunt guys at this test site. Did the run up, pressed the button, and it just sailed over. I couldn't believe my eyes. You know, it had to go over straight, and it literally deviated off course by no more than six inches. It was all right flipping it over in a great big wide open space where it couldn't hit anything, but the road Chris chose to do it was right in the middle of the banking district. Plus, underneath the road, I kept looking at all these manhole covers all throughout the road. I said to the surveyor, what are all these? He said, well, they're all underground vaults for the banks there, you know, utilities. And there was only two spots over this, like, half a mile stretch of road where we could actually do the gag because of all these. They had a big chunk of TNT inside there to, to blow that air ram to. The only visual effect involved in that scene was to remove the ram that they had built inside the truck that actually uh, catapulted it. Then, of course, we were shooting an IMAX. We put the, uh, the IMAX cameras on the street to capture this. We had one camera inside the ultimate arm. You know, you're just, you're biting your nails when this thing's about to go down. And sure enough, you know, flip that thing up in the air. And, and Chris and I were really proud, I think, because we had all the cameras in the right places and we captured some really stunning footage. We covered it from a lot of different angles, I think seven different angles. Four IMAX cameras, two Vista Vision 135. I actually don't like to use a lot of multi-camera setups, but doing a stunt that is not repeatable like this, you really have to cover yourself and make sure you've got it from, from all angles. Back in the day with multiple camera angles of stunts, you would double cut and try and, you know, stretch an event. The technique, I think, now is that we do stretch and double cut, but not obviously. So when the truck flips, for example, we're using only two angles. Now, back in the 80s, I probably would have used all five, but now, it's more you just really analyze what are the best angles and just relax with the material because it is, after all, a semi-trailer flipping in reality on a street. You know, for us, it was about reality and power. The angles we used in the final cut of the film were uh, the one primary angle, which is the, the lev head, stabilized head moving along with, with the truck. And then we actually cut to this division, kind of a throwaway camera that we put in there cop car and had a stunt guy drive at the truck as it, as it flipped and much to our surprise in the edit suite we found that to be one of the most effective angles.